Hello class, so today we're going to talk about the language of relation and functions. First, let us talk about relation. So to get the relation, we need the Cartesian product. So I have here an example, set A is equals to the set of 1, 2, 3, and set B is the set of U and V. So we're going to find the A crosses B. So all we have to do is to uh, partner what the elements in A to the B. So ato ra siyang iparis-paris. So we have A crosses B. And then we're going to write the set notation or the braces. And then an ordered pair 1, U. So this is how we are going to solve for the Cartesian product. I-partner na nato and then pit, you put it in an ordered pair. So we have 1, V. Next, we have 2, U, and 2, V. So, each element in the ordered pair in the set is separated by a comma. So, last, we have 3, U, and 3, V. So, this is the answer for A crosses B. For the second one, B crosses A. So, all we have to do here is to um, again, ato ra siyang ipare. So, mag-una mag na ang element sa B. So, we have here U1 and then U2, U3. Okay? Next is we have the V. V1, V2, and V3. So, ana ra siya ang Cartesian product class. Okay, for number 3, we have B crosses B. So, all we have to do is to uh, let the elements of B, set B, crosses itself. Okay, I'm writing it down. So, B crosses B. So, first we have the ordered pair U, U. Then we have U, V. Comma. Then the second one, we have a third our ordered pair, I mean, is V, U, and we have the V, V. So, that's it. That's how you solve the Cartesian product. Imura siyang iparis-paris. So, how many elements are there in number 1, 2, and 3? So, all we have to do is to count the ordered pair na sud sa set. So, these are called the elements. So, we have A crosses B. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 elements. Likewise, with B crosses A, na shay 6 elements, and B crosses B, na shay 4 elements. So, another thing uh, na itong buhaton para masolve na ito kung pila ka elements na ang usa ka set, kung magamit ang Cartesian product, is to count the number of elements in set A, we have 3, count the number of elements in set B, we have 2, and then you multiply. So, 3 times 2, we have 6. So, for number 2, we have 2 times 3, that is 6, and... Number three, we have two times two, we have four. So, relation is just a subset of the Cartesian product. So, katung tanang ordered pair na ato ang answer sa Cartesian product, those are relations. So, the relations between the two sets is defined as the collection of the ordered pair. So, for example, we have set um, negative 2, 1, 4, 3, 7, negative 3. So, this is written inside a brace. So, relation is a mapping from one set called the domain to another set called the range. So, other word from x and y, the ordered pair is your x is the domain and your y is the range. Or other books use the word input for the domain and output for the range. So, these are the relation presentation. So, we can um, use the tabular form in representing the relation. So, we have here the input x and the output y. So, we also have here the second um, drawing or picture is the graph. So, we can graph those ordered pairs in a relation. And the third image is a mapping diagram or an arrow diagram. So, ang mga ordered pairs ani class is negative, de ba? Iswat man to nato og parentheses ing ana. Negative 2, 3, and 0, negative 3, and so on and so forth. So, 
Makakita ta diri sa tabular, gisaparate ra si x and y, diri sa Cartesian coordinate plane, gigraph ra siya, and sa map kay gipangita na itong partner, like ang negative 2, iyahang output is 1, and negative 2, output niya is 3. That is the arrow diagram. Maura ni siya yung mga representation sa relation. So now, let's proceed to function. So function class, this are relation in which elements of the domain is paired with exactly one element on the range. So kung natay usaka domain, naragi siya usaka range, dili pwede magbalik-balik ang ato ang domain aning function. So there are two properties. So a function f is a set of a to set b is a relation with domain A and range B that satisfies the following properties. So first one, every element in A is the first element of an ordered pair of F. And the second one is, no two distinct ordered pairs in F have the same first element. So meaning, if na kay ordered pair, dili pwede magbalik-balik ang first element niya, which are your X values or your domain. So, these are the types of functions na tayo gitawag o one-to-one -one function. So, nakita mo na ang usaka values diri sa inyong x, giparisan siya ang usaka value ni y. So, na siya one-to-one -one relation. Next is, we have here the functions many-to-one. So, many-to-one meaning pwede ra um, lain-lain siya na value sa ato ang domain. Yan na siya usaka output. But, class, kung ingani siya, many to one, a one to many, rather, dili siya pwede ang one to many. Kay, again, dili pwede magbalik-balik ang ato ang domain or atong x values. So, this is not a function, but this is a relation. Pero, dili siya function. Ang one to many. Now, let us determine if the relation is a function. So, number 1, we have here the set 6, 3, 1, negative 2, 0, 5, 5, negative 2, and 4, 7. So, atong tanawo ng iyahang first element, deri. So, nagbalik-balik ba siya? Wala. So, therefore, this is a function. And then, the second one, tanawo sa na to, so, nagbalik-balik si 1, no? So, this is not a function because it does not satisfy its properties. So, another method to determine if it is a function or not is using the vertical line test. So, mahimura ni siya kung i-graph na to ang inyuhang mga ordered pairs or ang tanang relations. So, i-graph na to, yung ano siya, yung parabola niya, itong drawingan, no? O usa ka line, ano na graph, kung usara siya ka point maigo, therefore, that is a function. Okay, the second image, i-draw na itong line na siya yung usaka point na igo. That is still a function. And then, the third image, function, gihapon siya. However, kanidari sa ubos, kaning circle, i-draw na ito o vertical line. So, duha siya kabuk point na igo sa iyahang graph. So, therefore, ang ato ang x value ang igamalik-balik. So, this is not a function. Likewise, kaning last na image no, na siya yung duha ka points na igo. So, that is not also a function. So, a function equation class is like this um, drawing, no? A function is like this machine, no? We have the value here or the formula. Function of x equals x squared. So, the input is, on mong isod, these are the domain or the x. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or any number that you like. And then, when we plug it in this equation, in this function, na asay mugawas na output, which is our range. So, for example, isood na to si 1 ani na equation. So, that is 5 times 1, 1 squared. So, 1 squared is 1. And then, if 2 pod, so, ato raman yung i-substitute dari sa x na value. So, 2 squared, we have 4. 3 squared, we have 9. So, again, this is how function works. You put an input into a function and then naasya mo gawas na output, which is the range. So, we have here another example of solving a function. So, we have here a function of x equals 3x plus 4. And we are going to um, compute all the values of the range or the y values. So, all we have to do class is ato ra siyang isubstitute ang mga values ni x dari sa ato ang equation. So, we have here function of negative 1 equals 
3 times negative 1 plus 4. So, it ato ra siyang i-substitute ang values. We have negative 3 plus 4. The answer is 1. So, for the second one, we have function of 0 equals 3 times 0 plus 4. So, this the answer is 4. Next, we have function of 1 equals 3 times 1 plus 4. So, that will give us 3 plus 4 equals 7. And lastly, we have a function of 2 equals 3 times 2 plus 4. So, this is 6 plus 4 equals 10. So, your function or the range values here are 1. Ang output po ni, kung input na to si 0, itong output kay 4. Kung si 1 is 7 and 2 10. So, if you're going to write this one in an ordered pair, ato ra siyang i tupad like this. So, 1, 7, and 2, 10. So, that's how we solve the functions. So, think about it. Are all relation functions or are all functions relations? So, based on tong discussion class na all functions are subset of relations, but not all relations are functions. So, may mga nagpa, lahat ng nagpa-function ay may relation, but hindi lahat ng relation ay nagpa-function. So, that's it class. So, I hope that you get something new in our lesson today and have a great day ahead.